Hi, this is Dr. Mohebi from Parsa Mohebi Hair Restriction. Today we have a repeat strip FUT hair transplant. People need repeated hair transplant for different reasons. Some people continue to lose more hair and need to keep up with the hair loss. And some people need more density. So let's look at the pictures and see where he was and what we're doing today. These are his pictures from before his first hair transplant. He had the whole front and um, corners and top and crown uh, filled and he had a big area to cover. We gave him finasteride to keep his own hair as much as possible and restore the front and top areas of the scalp and left the crown. Pictures after the first hair transplant, immediately after hair transplant, you see the transplanted area, the front and top, and we left the crown empty. His pictures two years after his hair transplant with good density in front and corners, mid front and top, but crown has been obviously not filled completely. 27, 10 grafts through a strip procedure, the whole front is filled, the corners going back a little bit on the top, and this is the empty area. It was before, it was, this is a picture from four years ago, and this is today's picture. You see a huge improvement, uh, balding is gone. The top area that we didn't put any grafts on the crown, he's still seeing this crown hair loss. We gave him medication, but that's not enough to fill that area. That's how he looked in the back. He's almost class 7 at some point and this is today. The crown is still visible and those hairs are being kept with medication. One in what? Uh, let's still be one in seven. One in seven? Yeah. Okay. yeah. So we're we good to go? Alright. Pretty uh, relaxed. Yeah, comfortable? Mm -hmm. Let me get started with the local sound. Okay. Just waiting for you to become a little bit more relaxed. Okay. All right, good. So this is the area that we're going to focus on. This is maximum density area that I marked before I shaved the head, and this is the area around it that we're going to continue. Yes, it is. And how do you dance it? I don't know. I'm just like a doctor. No? How do you dance it? How would you know? We do sequential strip removal that allows the grafts to stay out of the body for a short period of time. Closing it, we do trichophytic closure. We do partial trichophytic closure to minimize the visibility of the scar. Before we remove the old strip, and now with the new strip, the scar is removed. The edge of the skin that has those transected hair, so it won't show a hairless edge at the side. Tricophytic closure that helps uh, significantly with minimizing the visibility of the scar. Pulse the scalp better. Mm. If I can use few staples, I don't use two sutures. Mm. but they're less reactive to tissue and they're not putting those traditional suture marks. Roll area on the crown, which is very important, and the direction of hair, as you know, is changing in that area according to the natural uh, curvature of hair there and the density is very important at the middle of the whirl. Lining it, we, we treat the whirl area like a hairline because that's the area that's going to be exposed. Going to different directions and that area is going to be without any coverage. So layering doesn't help the whirl area. The middle center of it will cover the other area around it. Should I go between his hair because he still has some hair, his native hair, he's gonna lose them, but you wanna preserve them as much as as much as possible. I keep changing my angles according to the to the curvature and angle of the wall hair. Changing my angles here in the wall area because the hair direction changes and I have to follow the natural direction of the hair. His existing hair, the remaining hairs from what he has before. And we follow the empty spots and fill the density and center. And as we go to the peripheral areas, we don't have to put as much density. Adding the grass up into individual one, two, and three hair grass. Set this phone number, the office phone number you're going to take with you, or you could go ahead and page the doctor at the phone number it provided that we get to you also. Sure. Okay. Any questions? No, really. Almost done with uh, placing, um, putting the last few grafts. Um, we, we got a good number of grafts and we're covering a relatively big area of the scalp.
pretty much the coverage. We, we put a good number of graphs, very high density in the crown area and around it and front in between them, fill the gaps and put a reasonable coverage. Hey, um, pretty good, pretty relaxing. I uh, got to have ice cream, watch a nice movie, um, ate a lot of food and played on my iPad. So, yeah, so uh, overall I'm pretty pleased. This is my second procedure. Of course, my first one was a great success and the second one feels like it's a uh, the second procedure feels like uh, it's been just as good as the first one. Very nice. Get used to the shaved head again after a while, right? Yeah, I'm you sure. haven't shaved it for a while. Yeah, I haven't shaved it for a while, but in three months, I'm sure it'll be back to normal. And I uh, have a pretty big vacation plan in a few months, so oh, by good. that time, I'm sure it'll grow out. Where are you going? To Paris. Oh, and, nice. You know, the Middle East. Procedure, we got uh, 32, 38 graphs, which is better than what we expected, so we ended up covering a bigger area than what we planned. Take his pictures after procedure. He got a reasonable coverage in front and corners. These are pictures directly from my camera. The top and the crown looks. We give him a very good density in the crown and that crown baldness is going to be filled and the area around it predicting future. How's the day? Um, although it was a pretty long day, I'm stoked because uh, we got a lot higher than the number of graphs that we expected. The second one, um, it was just as awesome as the first one. Um, the food was good, and it was it was a fun, it was a relaxing day.